the Kings in their purple trim with gold from left to right. Doug Keene's the rookie defending to our left. Veteran Billy Smith defending to our right. And here's Bob Lormer with a drive that's wide to the left of Keynes. Comes in behind the net. Dave Lewis is crunched into the backboard by Bobby Nystrom, who's been playing so well. Three goals in the last two regular season games. Centers it, and it's knocked out of there by Charlie Simmer. This is that explosive line as Marcel Dion, the scoring champion, is flattened in the Islander zone. Nystrom throws it ahead for Merrick. Tries to tap it to the left wing, and John Tonelli, it's batted by Charlie Simmer over to the stick of Billy Smith. He turns it aside softly for Dennis Potvin. And the Islander captain starts out. Fears to his right uh, around Mike Murphy, who lost his footing. He's the L.A. captain. It's picked up by John Tonelli. It slithers off his stick, but goes back now for Rob Palmer, who lost his edge in the far corner. Whips it around Sutter, and it's cleared out by Steve Jensen. Off to the near boards, back down to the Islander zone. Now here's Olympian Ken Morrow. Morrow ahead for Goring. Too long. Gillies races after it. In behind the net with Barry Gibbs in the L.A. zone. Icing is waved off. Good hustle by Gillies. Cannot be held in by Morrow. Has to travel back to the red line. Since a back Canada, Goring, the ex-king, flips it on into the L.A. zone. In there with uh, Jay Wells. The puck comes loose in behind the net. Sutter goes in hard. They sandwich it in. And it's lodged between a combination of players in behind the Brian Trottier, Bob Bourne, and Mike Bossy. So a lot of firepower out there for the Islanders. Battle for the puck in the far corner of the L.A. zone. Bossy throws it behind the net. Former Islander Andre Saint Laurent has the puck in the far corner, whips it around the boards to the near side. And it's cleared out, but a hard check on Billy Harris by Dave Langevin. Andre Saint Laurent against Brian Trottier. From the faceoff, here's Bourne. Top of the circle, a shot that's blocked. And it comes back down now to Gibbs, who flips it into the Islander zone. Pearson is back to get it. And it's going to be icing against the Kings. Rated by the uh, by their peers and, uh, and by the people in hockey throughout the season. They're chosen on a basis of being voted into the positions. Butch Goring versus Steve Carlson to the left of Doug Keynes in the King zone. Play along the near side boards as Langevin flattens Murphy and then he decks him again. Pulled him with a stick to the ice. Now the puck winds up back at the Islander blue line where... Lodge it. And when he did, he got a penalty for hooking, but uh, it's a matter of who was hooking and who was holding on. Langevin gets the penalty anyway. Well, Langevin was hooking and Hogarth was looking. And the time of the penalty, 2.16. So it's a power play for the Kings as the Islanders shovel it down into the Los Angeles zone. The Kings in possession. This is scoring champion Marcel Dion to the red line to Charlie Simmer. It's batted away. Simmer recovers, bats it up into the air. It goes into the mitt of Dennis Potvin off to the near corner. Now Bourne trying to sweep it out of the zone, but there was an illegal hand pass. And whatever. End of the Kings' overall <laughs> goal production. 50%, right? Not bad. Here's Harris for the point of shot. That's blocked by Trottier. Trottier and Harris in a foot race. Trottier gets it in the L.A. zone. Looking to feed the Goring in front. He shoots. Oh, and a beautiful save by Keynes. Goes into the far corner where Simmer grabs hole. Islanders keep in mind are shorthanded. And what a play by Trottier and Goring. And listen to the crowd responding. The puck comes out of the Los Angeles zone. Harris has it tipped away by a combination of Potvin and Goring. And they're going to whistle it down. Came out of uh, the International Hockey League where he played all last season and most of this one. has only played 10 regular season NHL games. And here he is in his first playoff chance. Played for the Saginaw Gears. Dennis Potvin goes barreling into the left corner boards and he is shaken up. Rolls over slowly. Down on all fours at the goal line now. And out comes Islander trainer Ron Waski. He turned around backwards, fell into the boards going backwards, and uh, knocked the wind out of himself. Trottier against Saint Laurent to the left to Smith with 52 seconds left on the Langevin penalty. The Kings bring it over. Here's Saint Laurent on the far side being bottled up there for the moment. Now by Ken Morrow. Goldup grabs it, flips it over to Dean Hopkins in the left corner, out to the point. A shot now is wide by Marcel Dion. Back to the point. Howard a drive, and it's plucked out of the air by Smith. Catching it in his catching mitt. 
Marcel Lyon, 53 goals, 84 assists, 137 points. He had two more goals than Wayne Gretzky of the Oilers, thus the scoring championship. It's clear but not out. Harris from the point of shot. It hit the Gordy Lane in the ankle, and here comes Lane up to the red line. He lets fly, stick save by Keynes. That was a hard drive by Gordy Lane. Comes in behind the net. It's whisked aside by Smith or by Harris into the left corner. Taken back now by Lauren Henning, playing in place of injured Anders Keller. Killing off five more seconds of this lunge of penalty. That ought to do it as the Islanders shoot it into the left of the Los Angeles goal. That is it as Longevin comes back onto the ice. And Marcel Dion having pressure from Bob Bourne, so he puts it back over to Rob Palmer in the Los Angeles zone across his feet to Dave Lewis, who's hit immediately by Dwayne Sutter. And back to Palmer. Palmer at his own line, shovels it down now to Taylor. Dave Taylor cuts right beautifully on Lane, and he loses on a poke check to Lane. Comes into the left corner to Goring, flips it out to Gillies, whisks it back to Goring. Goring has Sutter on the right, just beyond his reach. And it comes in behind the L.A. goal. And it's going to be touched here by the Kings for icing. 15 on the clock, first period, no score. And from the faceoff, Brian Trottier out there with Bourne and Bossy, flipping the puck down towards the Los Angeles zone. Bourne and Palmer go after it. It comes back out to the neutral zone, and Longevin sends it over to Bourne. Cross ice to Pearson. Pearson over to Longevin along the near boards and takes it up to the red line and guns it into the far corner. It's going to be offside, I believe, and last year. Goes back for a breather. Goring and company out there now with Sutter and Gillies. From the faceoff, here comes Gordy Lane cruising in his own zone. Whips it down to Gillies. Drops it back looking for Trottier who hopped back over with Bossy. And it comes back to the red line now. Goldup takes it and whacks it over to the Islander line. Lane fields to the ice with his glove. Drills it to Trottier. He's got elbow room and across the L.A. zone. Drops it for Bossy. Cuts to his left. Being trailed by Lane and Bourne. Lane has it at the point. A shot sticked aside by Keynes up to the glass in the left corner. Andre St. Laurent slithers by Bobby Bourne. They battle for the puck. Bossy sent us a tough score! And the Islanders take the 1 0 lead. Made it look easy, too. Mike Bossy behind the net beats Crache. Crache puts it. Top left corner past Keynes. Good hustle by the Islanders. Bobby Bourne fights with Andy San Laurent. Gets help from Bossy to Troche about 12, 15 feet in front. Troche releases the wrist shot quickly. Keynes down a little bit. Troche put it over his top left shoulder. The Islanders go out in front, one to nothing. Big goal for the Islanders. 14-14 left to play here at the Coliseum in the first period. The Islanders get the first goal. They draw first blood, going ahead one to nothing. Brian Trottier, who finished sixth in the NHL scoring race, breaks the seal on this one from Bossy and Bourne at 546. One nothing Islanders. Merrick is drilled to the ice by Wells over at the Islander blue line and a penalty is coming up against the Kings. A cross check right on the Islander blue line. He gets two minutes and the Islanders go out with their power play. Dennis Potvin back in action. So the Kings lose the services of their 20 year old rookie Jay Wells their first round pick in the 79 draft. Here they come on a power play leading one to nothing. Dennis Potvin apparently all right after that last fall. He circles at the red line, sends it down on the left wing to Bourne. It's slapped away by Murphy. Potvin picks it up. It's going to be offside. Delayed call by Randy Mitten. Gamble there, taking a chance on stick handling through. If it's poked away from him, the Kings could have a breakaway from it. He created the offside when he hesitated at the blue line, which he almost had to do. Bourne has it in the left Los Angeles corner. Island of power play. Sweeps it out to Potvin. Cross ice to Pearson. Pearson into the slot to Bossy. Tied up by Lewis. Bossy gets it again. Bossy who set up the last goal so brilliantly over to Pearson. Cross ice to Potvin. Watched by Murphy. High slot. It's intercepted by Carlson. And he backhands it out. To the red line, it's Potvin. A minute ten to go on the penalty to Wells of the Kings. Bob Bourne now takes it across the Los Angeles blue line. Skids to a stop. Flips it into the slot. Broken up by Palmer. Back it goes to the far point to Pearson. Drills it off into the far corner. Now to Trottier. Whips it off to Bossy. Bossy, side of the net. Centers for Potvin. He shoots. Kick save. Rebound Trottier. Oh, and he couldn't get the good shot off. And Bourne also fanned on a 
ensuing drive. He comes all the way back down to Billy Smith. Stops it behind the net for Potvin. 40 seconds to go on the L.A. penalty. Down to Bossy. Streaks up to the red line with Goring on the left. He whips it off the near boards. It rolls into the corner. It's taken by the goaltender, Doug Keyes. Flips it out inadvertently to Pearson. All the way cross ice to Bossy. Bossy cuts in front of Jensen. Takes it high slot. Lost it on a poke check by Andre Saint Laurent. And it comes back to the Islander blue line. Potvin, pressured by Jensen, gets it off to Pearson. Pearson takes it down the middle, flips it for Goring too long. It's picked up by Korab. Clears out of the zone, brought back in by Pearson. Offside against the Islanders. They finished with a 67.7%. Goring against Dion, just outside the Los Angeles blue line. From the faceoff, it's cleared all the way down by Gibbs. In behind the Islander goal. This is Morrow as the penalty expires on Jay Wells. He hops back over to the ice and over to the Los Angeles bench. So the Kings are back at full strength. Play at center ice is whacked by Goring off into the Los Angeles zone. Turned aside by Keynes for Korab. The ex-Buffalo Sabre being chased by Gillies. Comes off into the left corner to Gibbs. Barry Gibbs now carries out of his own zone. Takes it up to the red line and he flips it into the far end on the corner. In for the chase is Simmer. Centers it. It's off the glove and juggled by Smith. Taken by Nystrom. Nystrom carries it up to the red line with Wayne Merrick. Losing, then recovering, and it's offside. Bob Nystrom, who has been sizzling down the stretch. On the right wing, Merrick in the center. And they've got Tonelli on the left side. The Islanders shoot it in. Comes all the way back tomorrow at the far point. Morrow cuts to his left. Over to Lane. He winds. He shoots it into the left corner. Winds up behind the goal. Tonelli is there. Tonelli watched by Lewis. Crunched into the boards by Lewis. Tonelli falls on top of the puck along with Merrick. It's lodged under Wayne Merrick. It's a player like... Now, John Tonelli, you see very little of the puck. Islanders get the face off. This is Lorimer at the red line, and he drives one in. Comes into the left corner, Tonelli, working feverishly in that corner, as he always does for the puck. A scramble. Tonelli comes out of the pack with it, battles with Rob Palmer behind the cage, takes it in the far corner. Look out, Ron Hogarth in the middle of that mess. Back to Lorimer, dumps it in behind the goal, comes around behind for Nystrom, takes a look over his shoulder, hit into the boards by his former teammate Dave Lewis, and then it's swept away by Taylor to Simmer. Simmer at the red line. He's across the blue line, a pass beyond the reach of Taylor. Loose puck in the left corner. Simmer grabs hole, turns around, eludes a check by Dennis Potvin. Now Potvin muscles his way around Simmer for the puck, drives it ahead for Nystrom. Nystrom losing on a poke check by Marcel Dion. Swipes him in on goal. Gloved by Billy Smith, who's tripped up in front by Simmer. And Billy Smith just gave him a dirty look, which is unusual for Smitty. Good that was play. the only course of action, which well, was smart. If he does anything else, he's in trouble. Hogarth is standing right there, and he'd have him on a retaliatory-type penalty. Yes, sir. Here's John Tonelli from the blue line. Flips it into the Los Angeles zone. The crowd's still buzzing over that plan of strategy by Smith, which was a clever one. So run down the scores that we have in a moment. Well, Billy Smith uh, made that save a moment ago and went to throw the puck away. Actually, uh, Simmer accidentally run into Billy, and... Of course, Billy likes that kind of action. He can put on quite a show for his fans here and really uh, have nothing to do with it. Glenn Goldup coughing it up behind the Islander net to Stefan Pearson. Around it comes to Bourne, who clears it down into the King zone. Jay Wells, the 20-year-old rookie, is back behind the net. Circles the goal, being chased by Trottier with 9.32 to go in period one. The Islanders on a Trottier goal ahead one to nothing. A shot on goal, turned aside by Smith easily. Comes off to the left corner to Pearson, who's jarred into the boards by Jensen. Out it comes to Trottier to the red line. Chugs his way up ice. Throws it just under the stick of Bourne. Winds up in the left corner. Picked up by Wells. Drops it off to Jensen. The ex-North Star is checked into the boards by Trottier. The puck is grabbed by Gibbs uh, in the far corner. Clears it over to Andre Saint Laurent. Saint Laurent carries it up to the red line. He's in across the island of blue line. Cuts to his left. Throws it ahead for Jensen. Hopped over his stick. Poked away nicely by Billy Smith. And the puck grabbed by Trottier. Whips it out to Bourne. Returns to Bryant. Here he is the sixth leading scorer in the NHL this year. Trottier to the red line of Pearson. Flips it up off Korab's glove. Down it comes to Murphy, who circles in his own zone. The Kings captain now lugs it up to the red line. Good pass down to Jensen. Pulls up for the shot, but then he lost his edge. The puck winds up top of the circle. Backhanded by Gillies out to the red line. Korab's got it. Flips it cross ice. Intercepted beautifully by Gillies. Gillies over to Goring. Cross ice looking for Sutter, but it was taken away. Here's Mark Hardy. Number 29 out there for the first time for Los Angeles. Plays it off into the 
Islander zone turned aside by Billy Smith for Gordy Lane. Lane up ice to Goring along the near boards. Couldn't connect on the pass, and Korab has it and sends it to the red line. Morrow is there. Morrow hits it off the ankle of Gillies, comes back over to Mike Murphy, cuts to his left around Gillies, flips it up uh, off the far boards now, and it's swiped into the attacking zone by the Kings. Comes in behind the net for Smith. Stops it for Lane. Left wing to Gillies. Gillies whips it ahead for Sutter. Sutter's got it at the red line. He's across the blue line. Cross ice behind Goring. And so that pass didn't click. Here come the Kings again, led by Dean Hopkins in across the Islander line. A shot blocked by Morrow way up into the seats. And so play is stopped. There's a break of the action. Bob in front of the Islander blue line. And he against Dion. Gary Howard out there for the first time on left wing. Nice to him on the right. Howard playing opposite Hopkins. The Islanders get the face off lane. Dumps it off the left boards for Howard. Sweeps it over to Henning. Back to Howard. He's got some room coming in, and he couldn't get the shot off. Worked away by Wilson. Howard got it again to Nystrom behind the goal. Nystrom cuts off into the corner now. Hit into the boards by Wilson. Now Henning and Palmer come in there as well, and they hem it in. We'll get those scores in in a moment. We've got some. Wayne Merrick against Marcel Dion to the right of uh, goaltender Doug Keynes. It's in behind that Los Angeles goal. Barry Gibbs throws it up ice to Dave Taylor, and Taylor throws it into the Islanders' own. Comes in behind the goal for Bob Lormer. Lormer met by Simmer, but it comes out to Merrick. Here's Wayne Merrick stick handling around Dion. Takes it up to the red line, flips it ahead beautifully to Tonelli. Tonelli cuts to his right around Simmer, being trailed by Lormer. Continues off into the corner now. Slithers away from Jay Wells. Comes into the left corner. Gibbs is tripped up by John Tonelli, and a penalty is coming up. Brown doesn't agree, but Ron Hogarth says, yes, Tonelli, you're going off. No. It was Trottier from Bossy and Bourne at 546, the lone goal of the game. 645 on the clock here in the first period. Steve Albert here with Eddie Westfall. The Nassau Coliseum. Taylor is dumped by Dennis Potvin outside the Los Angeles line. And then the Islanders shoot it back in behind the goal for Korab. Islanders are hitting. Here's Korab. Plays it on the far side to Simmer. A rink-wide feed for Dion. He's got some room coming in. He shoots. It's blocked by Potvin. Comes back now to Billy Harris, who shovels it to the far side to Dion. Back out to Korab at the far point of shot, and it's knocked down in front. Where is it? It's somewhere embedded in the equipment of Smith, and he holds on. Looks like it might have been caught up in front. Against Saint Laurent. And from the faceoff, out it comes to Saint Laurent to the point to Korab. Returns to Saint Laurent, back to Korab at the far point. Watched by Trottier, shot blocked by Brian. Trottier, one on two, up to the red line, trailed by Goring, he picks it up. Goring comes across the blue line, Goring over to Trottier, and it's just tipped by Korab at the last moment. Korab, who lost the stick, pushes the puck ahead for Dion. It's going to be an illegal hand pass. Dunt back into the L.A. zone by Morrow. It's behind the net for Doug Keynes. He slows it up for Dave Lewis. He winds it around. It skips under Palmer's stick, and it comes all the way out toward the Islander zone. Brian Trottier goes after it. Three and a half minutes to go in this first period. Trottier lost his footing. Comes over to Gary Howard. Gets into a little match there with Golda. Back to Palmer. A drive. A kick save by Smith. A Great. shot that came out of nowhere. What a save. Billy Smith makes uh, his toughest one of the game. This uh, series go any more than three games. Merrick against Dion to the right of Billy Smith. The Islanders again get the draw. Here's Bob Lormer with two and a half remaining in the first period. Lormer takes it up to the red line. A pass for Nystrom, but he was upended by Charlie Simmer. No penalty on the play. And then Taylor loses to John Tonelli. Over to Nystrom. Nystrom in the face-off circle. Blasts one. That's deflected in front. Comes in behind the net. Now Tonelli trying to get his body away from Wells. Appeared as if Wells was holding on to him, and the fans were screaming for a penalty. No call. Here's Wells the other way with a drive that's blocked by Potvin. A host of players over skate it, then Potvin taps it to the left wing to Nelly. In across the Los Angeles blue line. Cuts wide into the corner. Centers it, and there it scores! He jammed it in. It's 2 nothing Islanders. Good goal. The Islanders, Wayne Merrick, poking it underneath Keynes. John Tonelli, the corner man, worked his way all the way down the left boards, kept faking the puck to either Potvin or Merrick. Then the last minute, gets the puck to Merrick. Keen slides to try and spread out. But Wayne Merrick slides the puck underneath Keen. 
and the Islanders lead two to nothing. Good play, John Tonelli. One of the forgotten men, Wayne Merrick, pumps it in. He had 13 goals during the regular season. He scores his first playoff goal on assists to John Tonelli and Dennis Pontvan at 18.07. Two nothing Islanders. Go and you can't do that. Uh, that's the reason that the Kings record shows, I think, 313 goals against, which was tied with uh, Edmonton for the most goals by a team in the entire season. Now playing behind the Los Angeles goal. It's taken out of there by Steve Carlson, a poke check by Goring. Carlson gets it back and for the red line he unleashes one to the left of Smith. 125 to go in the first. Islanders with a 2-0 lead. It's behind the Islander net. Taken there by Murphy centering, but Carlson was bottled up by the Islanders, and here comes Goring racing up to the red line. One man back. Beautiful move around Hardy, but it's gonna be offside. Penalty on the play, Steve. Aha. Uh one -huh. eleven and counting. Yeah, this of course a penalty that will extend into the second period, barring a goal by the Kings. It's Bob Lormer from the face off. He drills it into the LA zone as we enter into the final minute of period one. The Kings have it behind their own goal. This is Dion. Slips it on the right wing to Billy Harris. Into the attacking zone. Cross ice back to Dion. Top of the circle. A wrist shot and a save. Knocked out of there off the pads of Billy Smith. That comes out to Gorgie. He's dragged down by Dion. And a penalty should be coming up. It is. To the uh, beginning of the first, uh, second period. So not a smart penalty at all by Marcel Dion to even things up here as the clock winds down 30 seconds but the Kings keep it going here's a shot by Lewis that was almost intercepted by Bossy back to Lewis swings it in behind the Islander net taken to the far corner Bossy and Carlson Carlson whips it out to Lewis cross ice to Palmer Palmer winds he shoots and it blazes wide to the left of Smith Karam's off into the far corner Murphy's got it grabs it away from Bossy he can't get it past Lormer Bossy takes it with eight seconds to go and he clears it down toward the Los Angeles blue line Rob Palmer races back with three seconds on the clock. Gets it over to Dave Lewis. Cross ice to Palmer, the buzzer sound. And that ends the first period. A good one for the New York Islanders. They'll be four. Unreal. <laughs> really is. Here we go, second period. 48 seconds on the Gillies penalty. 122 on the Dion. Each team a man short. But the Islanders will have the advantage momentarily. King skating from right to left. Islanders from left to right. Billy Smith defending to our left. Rookie Doug Keynes in goal to our right for Los Angeles. This is Lane of the red line to Goring. It hopped off his stick and Davey Lewis has it. Plays it over on the far side now to Burt Wilson of the Kings. He blasted it off the stick of Butch Goring. Picked up at the red line by San Ra. And Senora runs into Gord Lane, who kicks the puck free, but it's taken back by Wilson to Lewis. Lewis hops it over the stick of uh, Glenn Goldup, picked up by Senora. Senora runs into some heavy traffic, takes it wide into the corner, drills it under Goldup stick. It's in behind the net for Kenny Morrow. And Morrow sliding away from Goldup. Five seconds on the Gillies penalty, so in five seconds, the Islanders will have a power play. Play is kept in the Islanders' zone in the left corner. Goldup battles with Morrow. Here comes Gillies back to the ice, so 30 seconds of a power play play with the on in the penalty box play to the side of the island of gold it snapped back to the point for Lewis he shovels it over to gold makes a move in front backhander save and it's batted away by Billy Smith over to Gordy Lane 18 seconds on the Dion penalty as Lane is dragged down from behind by Sailor other both fall to the ice Gillies works it free Islanders having trouble escaping the zone eight seconds to go on the Dion penalty and finally Lane finds some daylight carries it up to the red line that'll do it on the Dion penalty and he's out of the penalty box. And so both teams are back at full strength. It's blasted across the Islander goal line by the Kings. Uh, icing call. 31 to go on the second. Islanders on Trottier and Merrick first period goals with the 2-0 lead. Jay Wells behind the net. Winds it around for Mike Murphy. It's kept alive by Lungevin into the side of the goal now. And a trip. Bobby Bourne was spilled by Jay Wells. They exchange words right now. Well, Bob, yeah, Bobby's being smart about it too, Steve. He's just standing back saying to him, Nice going, clown. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Paris or not, he's no use to the Kings right now. He's in the box. Here's Potvin to Bourne. Face-off circle to the left of the goaltender. Back it comes to Potvin. A wrist shot. It's blocked beautifully by a sliding Dave Lewis. Islander fans 
remember Dave Lewis for those kinds of saves when he was with the Islanders. Here comes Bourne. Slides it back to Pearson. Drills into the left corner for Bossy. Good move around Palmer. Back to Potvan. Cross ice onto the far side to Trottier. Drills it out to Pearson at the point. He shoots. Oh, and it's deflected over the crossbar by Bossy. Bossy whacks it behind the net for Trottier. He's all alone. Here's Trottier. Bossy's at the side. What will he do? Brian Trottier still with the puck. It dribbled over the stick of Bossy to Pearson to Potvan. He shoots wide. Rebound behind the net, Bossy. Bossy coughed it up to Palmer. He slides it, but not out. Kept in for the moment by Bourne. And now Potvan dumps it over to Bossy to Bourne. Bourne swerves away from Palmer. Takes it far point. Over it goes to Potvan. Watched by Steve Jensen on his backhand, switches to the forehand, drills it over to Bossy. 58 seconds on the penalty to Wells. Back to Potvin. High slot. Potvin is stopped by Jensen, takes it back to the far point. Dennis Potvin, egged on by the crowd, throws it off the stick of Keynes. Back to Bossy it goes. Bossy circles the net, takes it to the far corner, drills it out to Potvin. He shoots, save, rebound, and it's gloved by goaltender Doug Keynes. That is Rookie goaltender, face off to Keynes right, and is scoring against... Murphy from the face off back it goes to Potvin closes and he shoots and it's blocked combination of Gillies and Hardy and it wound up in the seats. They're trying to decide now whether or not whether or not it hit a Los Angeles King or a New York Islander Potvin shot. He let the puck go and Keen's well out of his net. He knew Potvin was shooting. He was a good 15 feet out of his net when he made the stop or was deflected. They've decided that it was off a Los Angeles King player so that the faceoff will be at the point the puck was deflected out. If it had hit an Islander, then of course it would be outside the blue line. Which came at 138. Potvin keeping it in, but not for long. It's smacked out by the L.A. captain, Mike Murphy. Skids down to the Islander goal line. Pearson puts on the brake. Hill Spear had the Islander power play attack. Flips it out to Gillies on the left wing. And the puck is taken away by Murphy. He falls down, and that was a phantom trip. Nobody tripped him, and he's getting a penalty. Well, he's Dennis Potvin uh, was the guilty party. Two seconds uh, left on the penalty to Wells, so they're at equal strength now for the next 14 seconds. So 3.20 the time. And play is in the Islander zone for Bob Bourne. Bourne behind the net over to Gordy Lane. Returns to Bourne. It got past him. Steve Carlson grabs hold for the Kings in the far corner with Henning watching. Here's Carlson checked by Morrow. Carlson maintains control. Whips it to the point. Nobody home as the Kings were making a change. Carlson didn't take a close enough look or he looked and then looked down at the puck to make sure he had control. And as he passed it back to the point, the point men were both changing. It's a power play now, Eddie, for the Kings with Wells out of the box. A minute 20 on the pot van penalty. This is Lauren Henning circling in his own zone. Henning dishing one down into the left corner in L.A. territory. It's slowed up by the goaltender Keynes for Dave Lewis. Lewis engineers the power play for Los Angeles. Trying to get on the board. It's 2-0 Islanders early in the second. This is Marcel Dion. Cuts to his right into the Islanders' zone. And a burst of speed. A shot was staved off the stick. He, or rather, here comes Trottier. Down into the attacking zone. Trottier shoots. He scores! Well, Davey Lewis, who is not used to playing the power play, I'm sure, a little sneak truck on the left point. He went to shoot the puck, and he missed it almost altogether. Roche picks the puck up, takes a run for the net. The other Los Angeles point man slowly trying to cut him off. Roche goes to the backhand. Keynes makes a weird move. He takes a, a slide at the puck. Crotchet's backhand is on the ice, and as Keen is in the air trying to slide over, thinking that Crotchet's going to backhand it high, Brian puts the puck on the ice inside the right goal post. The Islanders get a shorthanded goal for. They go ahead three to nothing, and there's still 50 seconds to kill on the penalty to Potvin. Good alert play uh, by Crotchet. Took advantage of the error that Dave Lewis made in missing the puck altogether on the point. He was trying to shoot it at the net. Three seconds to go on the penalty to Dennis Potvin. Here comes Charlie Simmer in front of the Islander goal. It's broken up by Ken Morrow and Billy Smith. Bob Bourne back the other way for Butch Goring on the crisscross with Bourne. Feeds it off into the left corner. Billy Harris grabs it for the Kings. He starts out, and he drills it under the stick of Charlie Simmer. Simmer and Morrow converge in the left corner. It's taken out of there now. 
by Taylor. Here comes Dennis Potvin out of the penalty box. Taylor dumps it behind the net into the far corner to Dion. Marcel Dion takes a look, takes it behind the net, centers it, throws it into a crowd, and the puck is loose behind the goal, picked up by Taylor to Dion. Left point, a shot by Korob, and it's wide. Bourne corrals it off the far boards. He accelerates to the red line, three on two if they hurry. Here comes Bourne, back to Potman. He kicking the shot off. Pulled away by Marcel Dion. Could not hurry the shot. And the puck winds up back in the Islander end. Good defensive play by Marcel Dion on checking Dennis Potfan from behind. Potfan was getting himself into position to take the shot when he checked from behind. Pittsburgh leading Boston. Two to nothing. Santa Ra against Goring outside the L.A. blue line, and Clark Gilly sweeps it in behind the Los Angeles goal. Winds up left corner. Wells given a hard check there by Sutter. Comes off to the far side. Gillies takes a ride on top of Dean Hopkins, and the puck at the red line now for Dave Longevin. A pass for Sutter is beyond his reach, and Wells has to track it down in behind the Kings goal, having pressure from Goring. Goring loosening the puck up for Sutter, and Sutter is bumped off the play by Santa Ra. Santa Ra dashing madly up to the red line. He's got gold up on the left, crisscrossing with Hopkins. A pass for Hopkins is jarred to the ice by Goring, who lost his helmet in the process. And then Gilly sweeps the puck out of the zone. Sutter working hard along the far boards, taking his man Barry Gibbs into the boards, and the play is stopped. The puck is pinned. There's a blue line. Carlson against Trottier. The Kings get the face off. This is Dave Lewis. Here's Wilson sending one into the near corner in the Islanders' zone, picked up by Morrow. Battle for the puck in the corner now. Murphy grabs it for the King, centers it, and it went off Carlson's stick, but hold on to it. This is Trottier, lugging it up to the red line for Howard. He's got Bossy on the right. Bossy swings into the left corner, losing to Dave Lewis, banks it off the backboards. Lane is after the puck now. Lane with uh, Palmer. And Palmer carries it around, but Howard will keep it alive. He dumps it behind the net for Trottier for Bossy. He jams it, and a save by Keyes. Back it comes to the red line for Morrow. Off the near boards for Bossy. Rink wide pass for Lane. Lane throws the puck across the line offside with Bossy ahead of the play. Been that successful with his defensive play. Hardy's got the face off at the red line, and it's dumped in by Korab. It skids on into the left corner. Bird Wilson is hit into the boards by Nystrom. They both get dumped to the ice. And then Korab throws it to the side, cleared out by Lormer to the far corner. Over to John Tonelli, sweeps it down to Wayne Merrick. Out of the Islander zone, a backhander for Nystrom, who was restrained and couldn't get the pass to connect. And the Kings start back out behind their own goal. It's Dave Taylor. Taylor now over on the far side for Korab. Big uh, Jerry King Kong Korab flipping the puck softly on goal. Turned aside by Smith. Off to the near boards to Nystrom. Nystrom losing to Hardy. It's for capture, though, by Lorimer. Flips it out to Potvin. Intercepted, though, by the Kings. And this is Merrick recovering for the Islanders, and he throws it down to the Kings' own. Nine minutes gone by in this second period. The puck is tied up behind the goal. Hardy has it taken away by Taylor in the L.A. zone. A pass out to Potvin. He shoots, and it just went off the equipment, the right shoulder of the goaltender, Keynes. Almost trickled in. Here comes Santa Ra, streaking down ice all the way down, and he's taken down by Lormer. A pass in front broken up by Potvin, and then Goring dumps it out of dangerous waters out to the red line of Gillies to Nystrom on the right wing. He's flying. Here comes Nystrom in the corner. Centers for Gillies. Couldn't get the shot off and Goldup rescues the puck. Takes it behind the net being jarred from behind by Goring. Goring not letting up. Took the puck away for Sutter. Sutter centers to Gillies. He shoots and it's wide. Around it comes to the near point to Pearson. Drives it around behind the goal to Sutter. Sutter has daylight in the corner. Sutter comes to the slot. Tripped up by Barry Gibbs. The fans yelling there's no penalty. Here comes Gibbs up to the red line, and he throws it into the near corner. It's chased down by Sutter. Ten minutes to go in this second period. The Islanders leading it three to nothing, and it's Pearson along the near boards. Now he veers to his left up to the red line. Goring was tripped up, no cause. It's offside. Goring was spilled across the line, and it was offside. Game uh, working. On the faceoff, Longevin launching one in, a bouncer to the left of the goal, comes to the left corner, and Bossy drills Wells to the ice. He's down on his back. Battle for the puck in the corner. Trottier working it away from Carlson. The Bossy shoots. He's got He stuffed it in on the backhander, and it's 4-0, Islanders. Well, that's 
uh, three goals that the Islanders have scored while Keynes has been trying to sprawl. If he'd have been standing up, all of those pucks, he would have made the save on. Bossy into the corner. Just working in there is Brian Trotche. No, that's, uh, yeah, Trotche to Bossy. Bossy just slides the puck. Keynes is down, trying to sprawl out, trying to spread out in front of the net. It doesn't work. Bossy rolls the puck into the right-hand corner to get the Islanders' fourth goal, and I think the floodgates are liable to open up now. Mike Bossy has scored 51 regular season goals, gets his first of the playoffs from Trottier and Longevin at 10-19. The Islanders leading it 4 to nothing. Here comes the Kings, and Murphy lets fly, and it's gloved by Smith, who holds on. Well, Bossy, Eddie, really... Face off to the left of Smith. The Islanders have it with 9-12 and counting here in the second period. Game one of this opening best of five playoff series. Bossy on a steal. Bossy hurdles around Palmer, takes it into the zone to Trottier. He shoots and a save by Doug Keyes. What a move by Bossy to Trottier. He could have went six different ways and put it in. He tried to slip it between his legs, being a little bit cute, and Keynes makes the save. It is becoming target practice for the Islanders right now. Here's a centering pass to Tonelli. Tonelli was bottled up, and it's whacked aside by Keyes. Tonelli could not control the bouncer. Here's Potvin at the point. He drills it wide. Comes out to the near side. Tonelli grabs it away from Simmer. The Islanders doing things at will. Centering for America. Shot. Is it in? The red light is on. It's 5 the Islanders. Now, Wayne Merrick... Uh capitalizing on the inability of the Los Angeles defense. Of all guys, Jerry Cora, probably the biggest guy in the National Hockey League, is one of the culprits. He's not keeping the front of the net clear. This is a case where one fighter has the other fighter on the ropes. The Islanders can do anything they want at this point. There's nobody anywhere around the front of the net that's working at anything. Here in a case, Wayne Merrick just slips the puck. It was rolling. He just slides the puck right underneath the goaltender, the same as he got the first one in the first period. So the Islanders can do really anything they want. Brache could have had that fifth goal a little while ago. If that was a nothing-nothing game or a one-nothing game, I think you'd have seen Brian do something a little different. But now it's five to nothing, and it's on its way to at least eight or nine. We've got 8.31 left here in the second period. The Islanders have five nothing lead. And the Kings just don't look like they're interested, to be honest. 13 goal scorer during the regular season. Wayne Merrick has scored his second playoff goal from John Tonelli at 11:29. Wayne Merrick, the quiet man. <laughs> and it's 5 nothing Islanders as we pick up the action play in center zone. Gordy Lane smothers the puck and picks it up now. He's checked by Hopkins right in front of that Los Angeles bench. Things are getting testy now, Eddie, in front of that bench as they scramble. And both teams converge in front of the Kings bench. Play is stopped, obviously. Facing off against Dion outside the line from the face off. It comes into deep Islander ice. 7.55 to go in this second period. 5 nothing Islanders. Lane sweeping the puck past everybody. Comes in behind the goal, and Keynes has to play it around the boards. A hard collision between uh, Bert Wilson and Clark Gillies in that left corner. And now Wilson gets, gets it from Dwayne Sutter, and here they go. Left corner. The extracurricular begins to heat up. Gordy Lane took one of the L.A. sticks and flipped it aside. Lane involved in the last scuffle. I had it cut at that at one time that short. Now it's just that way because there's not enough of it. You look, <laughs> you look younger now. Here's Bob Lormer with a shot, and it sticked aside as Keynes did the splits. Both teams a man down. This is Lewis in the left corner now. Lewis clears it down to... Steve Carlson. Carlson from the red line uncorks it too long for Mike Murphy and Dennis Potvin flips it up into the seats. With 7.21 to go. And it turned things around. I was very happy when that happened because it used to take me two to three weeks to get that butch wax out of my hair. <laughs> you didn't have one. Oh, yeah. Here's play behind the Islander 
So I can go on with all this interesting stuff, but we have uh, a game to broadcast. <laughs> the Kings have the puck in the Islanders zone, and here's a shot on goal. It's uh, gloved aside by Billy Smith. They uh, whacked the a stray by Mike Murphy. He comes out to the red line. Rob Palmer plays it over to Dave Lewis. Lewis takes it deep into his own zone, plays it into the far corner now, and out comes Carlson. A nice move away from Goring. Steve Carlson in across the Islander blue line, can't get around Stefan Pearson, but Carlson gets it back and fed it right over to Bob Bourne. Here comes Bourne with a minute to go on the penalties. Bourne one hands the puck, and then he retreats to the red line. He saw trouble, and he wisely backed up. Now here's Pearson at the red line. He's amazing the way he can just change direction, Bob Bourne. Lewis runs into some difficulty with Goring and Pearson along the boards, but out it comes for Carlson. He had it jarred loose by Pearson. The puck comes to Murphy. Look out for Lewis in front. Murphy drills it at a block as Lundgren went down to his knees. Pearson whisking it down ice for Gillies. Gillies racing to the red line and across the Los Angeles blue line. Pulls up for the shot, and it's a save. Keys couldn't clear it. Loose in front. It's cleared out of there by Burt Wilson. No, that can't be Wilson. He's in the box. That's Palmer who cleared it out. To the red line, it's Henning. Henning across the Los Angeles blue line. Cuts into the corner now. Centers it. Lee scores. It's 6-0. Well, they're not getting much help from uh, players that should be leading the Los Angeles team in the playoffs. And Jerry Korab was a right defenseman. He just stood there and watched Gordy Lane put the puck by him. Lauren Henning makes a nice move. He's got little speed as he gets himself around Hardy. The pass comes out. Gordy Lane just slides the puck again on the ice to the sliding and sprawling. He goes right by Keynes, who uh, is just getting peppered at this point. One moment, Keynes looks a little like Billy Smith, and the next minute he looks a little bit loose, a little like a fish out of water, the way he's flopping around. But he isn't getting any support out in front, Steve. Jerry Korab, uh, with the years that he's played in the league, he should be leading this club, if anybody should. And he just allowed uh, Gordy Lane to slide in behind him, take the pass from Lauren Henning, and put it in the net, just like a practice. Well, Eddie, here we are, inundated with 50 goal scorers. Dion, Simmer, Trottier, and guys like Gordy Lane and Wayne Merricker taking the play away. Guys who don't ordinarily score too many goals. Here's play at center zone now, and Billy Harris on the far side has it stolen away by Bossy. It was Lane's first from Henning and Kenny Morrow. The Olympian gets his first playoff point. 14-14 is the time. 6-0 Islanders. Play winds up in deep Los Angeles territory. It's the corner, and now it's picked up by Glenn Gold up with the keys. Hit it off Trottier's stick to the red line. Ken Morrow's got it. Morrow delivers one neatly out of the stick of Trottier. Trottier pulls up, top of the circle for Lane. A shot, and it just went behind Gary Howard. He was looking for the tip-in for Howard. It's kept in by Trottier. Head for Howard. He's in front all alone. He shoots. A save. Rebound cleared. Cleared by Billy Harris. Gary Howard walked in on Doug Keynes, who's got to be mumbling to himself right now. Here's Goldup back the other way, fakes a shot, drives it in front, it's poked away by Lane. Goldup goes into the far corner, but Howard's got it, flips it behind the net to Lane. The, cr the crowd is ecstatic, still buzzing over the way the Islanders are buzzing. Here's a steal by center off from behind, away from Gordy Lane, takes it wide into the far corner, muscled off the play by Lane and Howard. Banks it off the far boards, but it's picked up now by the Kings at the red line. Wilson almost had it stolen by a flying Mike Bossy. Teams are at full strength now with Wilson and Sutter out of the box. And this is Gordy Lane in the far corner, throwing it up but not out. It's kept in by the Kings, and then Dave Taylor plays it to the far side, comes in behind the net. Brian Trottier away from Bert Wilson to Mike Bossy. And Bossy dumps it ahead for Howard. Howard at the red line, cuts to his left. Howard driving it into the Los Angeles zone, comes in behind the cage for Jay Will. That line gets a good hand from the crowd. Back to the red line, it's Lormer. Dumps it off well, skates to Nystrom. Nystrom hops to his left, but can't get past Dion. Dion caroms it around for Taylor. It comes back to the point for Potman. He closes in, he shoots. Oh, and he hit the post. He drilled it off the left post, and Keen shakes his head. Back come the Kings. He dumps it into the island of his own. It's behind the net now. It's taken by Potman. Dennis, who just drilled it off the post, flying to the red line, across the blue line, and he dumps into Wells. Wells 
Wells goes down. Nystrom throws it into the left corner. It's picked up by Taylor, who drives the puck toward the red line. Could be a two-on-one break if they hurry for the Kings. Here's Dion for Jensen. Jensen can't get the shot off. Off it goes to the far corner. Tonelli. 3.08 to go in the second. Six nothing Island is a bouncing pass. Too long for Nystrom, but he gets to it. Now he shoots. And a glove save. It's juggled. And he holds on. There's a break of the action with the score. Steve, he got it on a pass from Marcel Dion. So you can see how things are going for the Los Angeles Kings. Face off to the left of Doug Keynes. The Islanders tying a club playoff record for most goals in one game. Six goals here. They did it against Chicago a few years back. And Lewis throwing it into the right of Billy Smith. Drills it up off the plexiglass in the left corner. Steve Jensen gobbles it up, plays it on the far side of Carlson. Centers for Murphy, a shot stick to side by Billy Smith. Comes out to the far point to Palmer. He drives one that's deflected, and it's stopped by Langevin, and a holding penalty is coming up. Ron Hogarth signals against the Islanders. Near point. Goes it into the corner. It's blocked by Bourne, who throws it the distance. Dion's got it in front of his own goal. Flips it out toward the red line. Goring comes up with the puck. Goring breaks in on Dion. Comes in on goal. A pass for Chucky. He scores! 7-0. What a pass by Goring. Brian Chucky has the hat trick. Here come the hats onto the ice. Now, well, Butch Goring, uh, a good hustle, gets around Dion. That leads. Horab all along with Pache breaking in on the left side. Butch Goring makes a fine pass to Brian Pache. I mean, this time he's not going to play with the goaltender team. He takes the puck and drills it into the top of the net. Another short-handed goal for the Islanders. They still got four seconds left to kill. On the penalty to Stephen Pearson, it's their second short-handed goal, which is an Islander record. Short-handed goals in this one game, which is a record, of course, as I mentioned, for the New York Islanders. So it is a night to remember for the New York Islanders in this playoff game with the Los Angeles Kings. They take a 7 to nothing lead. Brian Trottier with a hat trick, two short-handed goals, as Eddie pointed out, an Islander playoff record for one game. 19-20 is the time. And they should have, in all fairness, at least three more uh, goals. Uh, uh, the kid, uh, Keynes, has made some good saves uh, that has kept the score from mounting to even more. But, uh, of course, we're not finished yet. There's 40 seconds to go here in the second period. They could get a couple more yet. And then we've got the whole third period. I don't think Los Angeles is going to get back in this game. As a matter of fact, well, I don't think it. I really, know it. You're really going out in a limit. <laughs> well, I'm just a little disappointed. I was kind of hoping and looking for a much uh, closer, much harder fought game. But Los Angeles has come out and from the drop of the puck at the first period, really done nothing. Nystrom hustling hard for the puck, falls down behind Rob Palmer, and the buzzer will sound. There they go for the Islanders as they hit off the ice. They have completely dominated the L.A. Kings over the first two periods. <laughs> if this was the end of the game, Steve, and you were to ask me what the turning point was, I'd have to admit it was the National Anthem. Yeah. But we've still got the third period to play yet. And, and he gets to draw back to Pearson. Pearson closes in. He shoots. He's yeah. It's 8 nothing. Stephen Pearson rifled it in. The Islanders have an 8 to nothing lead. Right off the face-off. Good draw. Lauren Henney gets it back to Stephen Pearson. Pearson picks the top right-hand corner and just blows it like a fastball. Right by Lassard for the eighth Islander goal. The sky's the limit. Lauren Henney gets his second assist. Pearson is goal at 2.15. And the Islanders control again. Langevin into the Los Angeles zone. Behind the net, it's Mark Hardy taking a whack at it. Comes to Sutter at the side. Comes in behind the net. Centering for Henning. He pulls up. And the shot was blocked in front. Here's Gillies in the far corner. The Islander fans hungry for number nine right now. It's with a drive and a kick save by Smith. Here it comes to Goring. Unleashes for Bourne. 
He comes into the King Zone. Bourne trying to get around Dion, who took it away. Hit the side of the net. Bourne looking for a short and a goal, and he almost did it. He stuffed it into the pads of Lessard. And where is it? Buck is sitting somewhere underneath uh, Hardy over there. And Sutter, they're going into a shoving match now. They drop the gloves, and they go to it. In front of the Islander bench, Sutter and Hardy. They're in a bear hug right now, trying to get loose to a couple of punches. Hardy and Sutter braced for action. And Sutter, maybe he landed with a left cross. I don't know. It's hard to say from up here in the booth, but he lunged with the left. Now they hold each other up. Sutter lost the helmet. Hardy remains with his. Trying to get loose again for some shots. Sutter has one or two into the face of Hardy. And now Hardy is trying to send Sutter over the boards into the island of bench, but the linesmen come in to break it up. Could be some blood there on the face of Dwayne Sutter. I got a little bloody nose. Or a lip. There's a break of the action with the score. Islanders eight, Kings nothing. And that is it. It's over. The Islanders take game one of this opening best of five Stanley Cup playoff series. Well, it's a big game for the Islanders, Steve. They needed a win. It's at home. And that's the start they needed. They got it probably a lot better than they had thought. So once again, the final score. The New York